big data is revolutionizing the tax landscape driving a significant transformation on both sides of the equation for tax authorities and for businesses. Welcome to VAR Internewsa. Big Data Analytics allows tax authorities to analyze vast amounts of information from driver's sources, including financial transactions, social media data, and public records. This enables them to identify potential tax evasion and avoidance more effectively focusing their resources on high-risk areas. Secondly, Big Data Analytics is revolutionizing how we approach various processes, offering unprecedented precision, flexibility and insights. By automating tasks and optimizing workflows based on data insights, Big Data can significantly streamline operations and improve efficiency. By analyzing taxpayer data more efficiently, tax authorities can conduct more targeted and data-driven audits, reducing the burden on complaint taxpayers and increasing the effectiveness of audits on non-complaint ones. Big Data Analytics allows for real-time monitoring of tax compliance, facilitating quicker identification and response to emerging tax avoidance schemes. Companies are automating collection of raw, unstructured tax data, sending of tax documents to contractors and filing of forms. They are able to send it to correct tax authorities mainly by huge corporations or MNCs who has to meet varied compliances in different geographies. Besides this, pooling data from different sources into a single data warehouse stops manual data entry and allows the company to transform and clean the data if needed. The processing time is thus considerably reduced, side-by-side -side accuracy being provided in a closed system. Big Data Analytics plays a great facilitating role in tax controversy too. Use ML model to predict the outcome of the case. Predicting patterns out of the previous tax cases and using ML model to develop a more effective litigation strategy would be few of the other added advantages. Let's look into today's headlines. RBI approves HDFC Bank's purchase of up to 9.5% stake of Indus in Bank. According to Indus in Bank's BSA filing, the Reserve Bank of India has approved HDFC Bank Limited's bid to purchase up to 9.5% of the paid-up share capital of voting rights of Indus in Bank Limited. The approval is contingent upon adherence to relevant laws and standards, RBI directions and banking regulations. This action highlights HDFC Bank's deliberate efforts to grow within the banking industry. Government receives 600 crore rupees in fines for delay in PAN Aadhaar linking. For the delay in connecting PANs with Aadhaar, the government has collected more than 600 crore rupees in penalties, yet around 11.48 crore permanent account numbers remain unlinked with biometric identities. In a written response to the Lok Sabha, State Minister for Finance Pankaj Chaudhary stated this. The total collection of fee from persons who have not linked their PAN with ADHA is 601.97 crore rupees from July 1st, 2023 to January 31st, 2024. Apple introduces Optic ID, a retinal scan-based security revolution. In order to increase security, Apple replaced faced ID with Optic ID. Retinal scans are used by Optic ID to authenticate users, improving security and privacy. It records distinct patterns in the eye for recognition. Optic ID, in contrast to Face ID, guarantees accuracy even in dimly lit areas. Apple's novel strategy seeks to strengthen security protocols and improve user experience. Huawei reduces its smartphone production for growing demand for AI chips. The increasing demand for Huawei's artificial intelligence processors is causing the company to reorder its production priorities. According to reports, the Chinese tech giant is putting more emphasis on producing AI chips and is reportedly slowing down production of its high-end Mate 60 phones. 
Huawei makes use of a facility to produce the Kirin and Ascent AI chips that power its devices. VI Business launches a platform for IoT asset management. VI Business, the enterprise arm of VI, has launched VI Business IoT Smart Central, a future-ready, fully integrated self-care IoT connectivity and device management platform. The VI Business IoT Smart Central platform empowers enterprises to control, monitor, and manage IoT assets remotely on a real-time basis. It provides a comprehensive view of all IoT assets and enables enterprises to remotely manage and control the seam life cycle of everything. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.